Hello, good afternoon, my fellow human beings. Thank you very much for stopping by to the content of this video. That it is the ego. And for me, the mental image of the ego is like Ahmed, the terrifying terrorist from Jeff Dunham. I have several metaphors for, for, for the ego. For me, the ego is like Mr. Smith from the Matrix. Neo is the empath. Um, Morpheus is the, uh, the awakening process and the uh, ascension. And the oracle is the uh, universe. Or parallelly, one can also say that um, the so in the in the in the book from the, the the law of divine compensation for Marianne Williamson, she explains the metaphysical message behind the Cinderella fairy tale. So your soul is Cinderella, the ego is the stepmother, and the the fairy godmother is the Holy Spirit. Okay, so. I've already explained in one video the, the the game between the ego and the higher self, and in the another that I will I will always leave the sources of the videos down below, and I explain another uh, another video the uh, narcissism in eight minutes. Okay, so the narcissism uh, purpose in my perspective is to keep you on the matrix. Okay. So, there is a very good video from this couple uh, in Australia that I often talk about, and he explains very well the game in weeding yourself on the ego. So, it's like a game. It is, every time you have fear, oh, I can't do that, you play a card to the ego. It's the unconscious belief that Bruce Lipton explains very well how to transform the unconscious conscience and to rewrite your, the, the automatic programming, like it's like the grammar. There is also a video about that, I will link it down below. So every time you don't choose your higher purpose that you are here to fulfill, your talents and you share them with the world, the ego is winning. The matrix is winning. And with this, I rest my case. Thank you very much for listening. Like, comment and subscribe. Thank you very much. And donations, hit the PayPal button. Talk to you later.